With us today is Dennis Keogh, professional look-alike to Sean Connery. Welcome, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Dennis, I'm sure a lot of folks are curious about the work that you've done with a number of Bond girls over the years. And uh, we heard recently that you attended a function in Los Angeles where a number of the real Bond girls were in attendance. I wonder if you could tell us about that. Yes, that was a fantastic day. I went over to Los Angeles and uh, wore my white dinner jacket. And as I walked in, all the real Bond girls were there. There was probably a dozen or more, perhaps 30. And uh, I got a double take. Now, it wasn't long before, of course, I wanted pictures with them, but they wanted to have a picture with me. So I got to meet, like, then Holly Johnson, Trina Parks, Maude Adams, Britt Eklund, uh, so many, I can't name them all, Tanya Roberts, uh, Luciana Paluzzi from Thunderball. And they were just so gracious and so nice. And uh, one who was especially nice was Eunice Gason. She's 84 now. She said, Sean, sit here and give me a hug. It's only been 50 years. I said, well, you know, dear, I'm not him. She goes, oh, no, I know. You're younger and better looking. And I just had to laugh. <laughs> But uh, it was a very, very fantastic day, I say. You know, I met George Lazenby. Uh, he only played one Bond. Nice fella. And uh, Richard Keel was there. Jaws, met Jaws. And uh, it gave me an idea. I thought perhaps maybe I should put a book together with all the Bond girls that I've worked with as a lookalike. I've worked with hundreds of girls, and uh, agencies send them as Bond girls. Some of them are quite stunning as were the real Bond girls. So all in all, it's just a real honor. And uh, thank you for having me here today. Well, thank you, uh, Dennis. Uh, a very interesting story. And uh, as time goes on, we'll be looking to hear more vignettes of what your experiences have been over the years. Thanks again, Dennis. My pleasure.